hello everyone. Say hello everyone. Hey. Hello everyone. Say welcome to my mommy's channel. Look at the camera over here. Say welcome to my mommy's channel. Welcome to mommy's channel. <laughs> hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I'm here with my co-host. What's your name? Elle. Say my name is L. This is Elle, and as you know, I am Janelle, Janelle V. Stewart, and today I'm doing a fun collaboration with Sola of Discovering Natural. And through my journey and my natural hair, I meet amazing people such as Sola. Sola has an awesome natural hair channel. It is extremely educational, which is why I've been a subscriber for a very long time because I believe in education and enrichment. I believe in the power of knowing and learning and Sola is everything about that. Her channel has so much hair care education for herself as an adult natural hair woman and also her children. She has two beautiful little girls whom she refers to as big sis and little sis and they are gorgeous and they have beautiful natural hair, kinky natural hair, which proves that natural hair does grow. It just requires the right proper care. So if you go and watch Sola's video, you'll get some information on teaching children with natural hair. And my video today is along the same lines, which is teaching children how to love their natural hair. So definitely check out Sola's video right after you watch mine. And let's get into it. So Elle, do you love your natural hair? Yeah? yeah? Tell me what you love about your hair. What do you love about it? I love barrettes. You love barrettes? Yeah. Let's see your barrettes. Let's see your pretty barrettes. Elle said she loves barrettes. What else do you love about your hair? Yeah. What else do you love? Is your hair beautiful? Yes. Yes? I like Jasmine. Yeah, you like Jasmine? Let's see Jasmine. Say, my hair is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So, um, <laughs> this is Jasmine. Yeah. Let Jasmine say hi to everybody. Yeah. So, one of the ways that I teach my daughter how to love her natural hair is through representation. Representation for children comes at their level in their toys. So Elle has a doll baby here. Her name is Jasmine. Jasmine has a very low haircut. She doesn't actually have hair, but there are hair marks in her head. And then we have Patricia. Patricia has curly natural hair in pigtails. And who's this one? Tiana. Tiana. This is Princess Tiana, baby Tiana. And she also has a curly natural hair fro, afro. Their hair looks like yours, right? Their hair looks like yours? Yes. Yeah. Tell me what you love about her hair. Is it, is it beautiful? Yes. It's curly. Yeah. Say it's curly. curly. It's beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. So getting our daughters toys that have similar hair textures to their own is a great way to teach them how to love their natural hair. For me, having a variety which has a majority of the dolls have a similar texture and a similar complexion to my child is important because of the society that we live in where women are often stereotyped and discriminated against because of the color of their skin and the type of hair that they have. I want her to be very confident at an age now where she's so impressionable. So as she grows up and she becomes more opinionated, more, um, more strong in her beliefs, she will not be easily swayed from what she believes is beauty that she's been taught by her mom. She'll be very strong in her convictions about what is her type of beauty and what she feels most confident as. Another way that I'm able to provide representation for my daughter is through her books. We have a very extensive library, and my children do, and I do my best to find books that do have images of black children and black children with natural hair. Because the more we read about natural hair and books that are related to natural hair, the more we're able to have conversations and discussions. One of my favorite books is this book called Emmy's Curly Coily Cotton Candy Hair by Tina Alagide and illustrated by Courtney Bernard. In this book, Emmy goes through an, a wash day with her mother and she talks about the textures of her hair. She also uses describing words that are really positive to describe her hair and she shows different products that she uses in her hair and Elle and I have conversations about how we use similar products. Mama, yes. what do we use in her hair and your hair for to wash it? 
Show me. Mia, what is that? Smoke. That's oil. <laughs> What's this here? Cut. That's a comb. Comb. And what do we have here? Bandit. Shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo. What's in here? Uh, Herberettes. And what's this here? Scissors. And she has water here, right? Yeah. So we talk about the wash day and we talk about what Emmy does. And, um, you know, it's easier for me to have these conversations with my daughter when her books have these conversations in them. So while, you know, find some natural hair books that you can show your daughter and you can read to your daughter so she can grow up seeing black girls in the books that she's reading in addition to in her dolls. And I guess the, another main way that I'm able to show my daughter representation is by being natural myself. I do know a lot of women that are not natural and have natural daughters and I do understand that it can be very difficult to figure out what to do with their hair because you yourself are not natural. But Elle has one of the biggest role models in her life being me, who is natural. So I know exactly what to do to her hair and I know how to care for it, I know how to style it, I can appreciate the texture of it, I can appreciate how how sensitive and gentle I need to be when taking care of it. So her family is also natural. Elle has natural grandmothers, natural cousins, natural aunts, natural godparents. Elle is honestly surrounded by women with natural hair. Another way that I teach Elle how to love her natural hair is by constantly complimenting it. I do know that little girls get complimented on their hair, you know, depending on the style of it. And sometimes people often will comment on the length of a girl's hair or if something is like pretty much like out of the ordinary, like it's really, really big or it's like super, super curly, you know. And I want for Elle to appreciate her hair how it is whenever it is. So in any style that she's wearing, I'm always complimenting her hair and letting her know it's so beautiful her hair is so healthy when we do wear it out on special occasions we talk about how beautiful it is and she loves to wear her headband and her barrettes and I let Elle participate in the choosing of those things and that kind of leads into like the next point that I want to make about teaching her to love her hair is I allow Elle to participate in the hair regimen process as she's able as she's getting older there's things that she can do now that she wasn't able to do before like pick out which product she wants to use not that she really knows but it gives her a sense of ownership over the wash day and which which um barrettes do you want to put in your hair I even ask her how she wants me to style it and you know give her options so she can pick and choose from those options and which which hairband do you want to wear today so letting her be a part of the process is definitely a way to teach her how to love her hair and as she gets older um she's able to do some other things like Elle knows what what is this mama bonnet and where do we wear our bonnet on, head. on your head can you show us how you put your bonnet on mm -hmm. you put your bonnet on for bed mm -hmm. yeah it looks beautiful your hair is so beautiful mama so we let her do things Hi. like this she puts her bonnet Shh. She puts her bonnet on at night, she takes it off in the morning, and as she gets older, you know, she'll be doing even more things that I'm gonna let her have ownership over her hair care. Because by doing that and providing her with the tools that she needs as a natural haired girl, she's gonna grow up into a natural haired teenager knowing exactly how to care for her hair and love it and not be stressed out by it feeling like she needs to do something drastic like straighten it with a relaxer or something like that. So I think that if you are able to show your children representation of themselves in the mediums that they currently are used to watching, looking at, viewing, playing with, if you're able to um, constantly inundate them with positive language around their hair and if you're able to allow for them to be a part of the hair process you will be grow you will be raising young ladies who absolutely love their hair please don't forget to check out sola's channel discovering natural and like this video by giving it a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if you agree with anything i said have something else to offer or just want to share your own personal testimony and as always i love you for watching bye <laughs>